the customer is so much more knowledgeable and is coming to us with so much more information that we can no longer just hand a, a solutions engineer a script mm -hmm. and say, follow these 10 steps and you'll sell a car because that doesn't work anymore. Welcome to the Strategy with Jason podcast. Tune in for everything you need to know to stay in the know regarding the automotive industry. Here's your host, Jason Harris. I put I put a, a post out recently where um, I, uh, I I said that we don't no longer need salespeople. What we need is we need solution engineers. All right. I saw that. I Which, loved that solution engineers. Well, that's what it is right now because look, there's yeah. not inventory. I need someone to you know if I'm a customer, I need someone to generate a solution. All right, for me, you know, if it's like it, it's too easy for us to say nope, we don't have it in stock. Well, I, but I, I, might, but I'm asking past the inventory, Jason, I yes. think at the end of the day, you're trying to help me with the problem, Yes. which is, I don't quite know what car is right for me and which one I can afford and stop selling me and start helping me with my problem. And then you are a solution engineer. So help I mean, me, I think help me find a solution. And right. I think about this and you know, like when I first got into the car business, you know, the, this whole internet thing was just beginning. Like, oh, that, oh, that internet thing, you know, like, I mean, it was it'll still never like, take off. it'll never take off. You know, I'm <laughs> my, I mean, I'm serious. I remember being in a meeting with my dealership. We're never going to have a website. I if someone's going to learn about too. our cars, they're going to come to right. our dealership. You know, we're not going to put cars out there with price, like crazy, right? Oh, yeah, um, no pricing on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> but but I, I think we have to kind of for us to say there's a talent shortage, I think we have to first define what is the new talent that is required to be that next generation of quote unquote salespeople, which I still don't necessarily think is the right word to use as much as a solution engineer, which by right. the way is a term that I did not make up. I learned it from another very, that, no, so I, I wish I did. <laughs> no, no, I learned I learned that from a much smarter person than me. Um, but, but, it may, but it makes a whole lot of sense, but I'd love to kind of get your thing. Yes, there's a talent shortage, but what should the talent look like right now? No, and I think that's a great question because the customer is so much more knowledgeable and is coming to us with so much more information that we can no longer just hand a, a solutions engineer a script mm -hmm. and say, follow these 10 steps and you'll sell a car because that doesn't work anymore. It's a much more complex. They need to be able to handle so much more of the customer's needs and, and provide so many more solutions in terms of um, the, you know, and the experience, are you providing that kind of experience that makes them go talk about us on social media, or is it going to provide an experience that's going to cause, you know, cancel culture and they blow up in your community with going viral about a bad experience at your store. That is putting people out on the floor, your service advisors, your technicians, anybody who's interacting with customers. Now mm -hmm. we've got to spend a lot more time investing in their skills and in our customer experience training and our, um, you know, how do we connect and, and build relationships with the people in our community? It's a completely different, you know, mindset than just, you know, going for the jugular and the kill every time. Um, and, and again, that's back to internet and social media. We can't hide behind pretty advertisements anymore. The, the authenticity has to be there. Yes. And that's going to be a completely different person, different leaders, different training. Um, I think we have to really rethink the whole model. Well, we, we do it. The product is no longer the primary purchase. You know, it is, it is, it is who's going to solve my problem. The product should be the solution, but the person, you know, engineering and designing that solution is the person that's ultimately going to generate the experience. Thanks for tuning in to the strategy with Jason podcast with your host, Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to check out the full podcast library at strategywithjason.com to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.